guess you gotta be careful not breaking the windshield. Well, breaking the windshield <laughs> doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> Today we're finally getting our windshield changed and getting our cameras and everything working as it should. Um, here in the top of a mountain in Montreal, beautiful day, but we're changing the windshield. So guys, if you need to uh, visit, change your windshield or whatever, any type of glass, these guys are amazing. What is that to clean up the uh, no, this residue? Is a, a like primer. A motor? So okay. it, it's a primer for the glue. Basically, like kind of like when you paint your car. Yeah. You, you put a primer before you put the paint, so it, it has a better adhesion. This is the same thing. So you apply this before you put the glue. That way, uh, the glue when it's gonna hold the urethane. Okay. The right term actually, the, the urethane, it's gonna stick to the glass better. This is the windshield that. It's gonna go in the car. And we have the plugs for the heating element that goes around the, the camera. And we have the bracket that it will hold the, so the sensor here, which will be the, for the dimming of the head-up display. And if you wanna make sure that you got the right windshield, there's the tag here at the bottom that actually says head up display so you know that it has the double coating so what it means is that it has two laminate one the usual laminate here in the middle for the cracking but it has a polarizing effect from the inside so you don't get the double image on the windshield when it reflects on both uh, glass sides it would it would just reflect on the one on the bottom and you will have a clear head up display the chip started like this small and then all of it started like going all oh, over well, the place when you drive yeah. you have a lot of pressure around the edges actually of the glass yeah and you see all the black marking is where your glue is generally well, not generally all the time the black part of the glass actually what it does is it blocks the heat from the sun okay but it's also weaker on the edges because it's, it has the most curvature at the end over there if you got the same phone chip in the middle it wouldn't probably have had the bigger impact that it has now but on the edges it's much weaker because the glue is there and there's all the pressure so as soon as you drive it you, you get the chip it's gonna uh, start to walk well, the crack is gonna get longer watch much right. faster than if you got the same chip in the middle Can you tell me a little bit about this process? So you have your glue at the bottom of it, like you have the all around in a circular. And basically like in order to reach that bottom, we have like the gun, uh, extractor gun that reaches uh, all the way down. That way we don't, uh, okay. that's the safest way to remove it actually. Well, it has its own wrist, but we make sure that we don't. Uh, I guess you gotta be careful not breaking the windshield. Well, breaking <laughs> the windshield doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Yeah. It looks easy. It looks easy, yeah. save the rain sensor gel too after. Yeah. It's, uh, this is the machine. Right. And then there's a gel in front. If we can't save it, we just put a new one. Okay. That's really cool to see if you actually put a new one. They are going to remove the old ceiling here. Just to make sure that everything has good contact. Finally, this thing will stop dangling from the side of the rear view mirror. Supposed to be. And that's a spacer so that the glass doesn't sit all the way down. You don't have to definitely put them back, but it's like if I save it, yeah. why should There's I not? something that uh, I do the most OEM that I can right, possibly, exactly. you know? Oh, that's good. Especially for cars that have cameras. Yeah. If you don't put it back and you push it way too down. It could the different. It could be a different reading, you know. Yeah. Because it's uh, it's sitting too low. Like we had a car from Acura over here that uh, 
the, the glass was changed and it was like maybe a millimeter too low. But that millimeter from your car toward the line that's in the front, it expands way further and the car was not read the camera was not reading. Okay, it. yeah. Well you, you changed it with your camera, the setting so it's looking, but when you don't do that and you didn't put the glass where it's sitting right. here and you didn't calibrate it, well it's it's not gonna read that line that lane anymore because the millimeter here, when it's looking way down like five, six meters there, right, it's gonna be three, six, ten inches. We were gonna save actually the windshield, we would use the uh, Oh, you can save windshields? Yeah, of course. Why, why would you change? Uh, sort of like this. This is not. Uh, this is called uh, the fat. It's like okay. a WRD tool. And basically, I wrap this uh, this wire around. Yeah. It's non-metal and very easy to bend. And what it does is we put it around and we put the wire around the glass completely. And then I start to crank it around with the drill. And what it does, the line is basically it goes towards the frame instead of towards the glass. And what it does, it oh. basically, it would uh, put less stress on the glass. Right. And therefore, I can save the glass. Because sometimes, body shops are going to do the roof of the car, but it's not damaged. The glass is not damaged. Therefore, we have to save the glass. That way, uh, oh, they can repair you don't their... expense it like, oh, just break and change. No, if right. It's, if, it's, if it's not broken, we try to save it. Obviously, it has a risk uh, because windshield is used and everything, and it could uh, create a crack. Yeah. Let's say if you had a small chip that was on the black edge, sometimes when you pass the wire with the stress that you put in on the glass, it would make uh, it, it could uh, start to crack and make it go further. That way, uh, hmm. so that's what you do when we save one shoe. I just put this so I can glue the spacer on it. Okay. That way, uh, like I said, so it has the same height on the glass, mm -hmm. uh, on the frame. Same thing on this side. Probably, probably should be better if I change the uh, windshield wipers with the new windshield, right? Uh, yeah, depends uh, how long has it been since you haven't changed it. Uh, since the first time you got the summer. car. It's Less still summer. fine. Do you drive it a lot in the winter? I don't, I don't drive it in the winter. Yeah, six, to one year, six months to one year, you should change it. Okay. Depending on how much you use it. So basically, this camera now needs to be installed on the clips. Here is like right in here. You click in here. What other stuff these guys are doing? Nasty crack. He kept always between the two lines along the entire windshield, just keeping inside those two little lines. Yeah. And the angle is important that it's almost just a bit like maybe 80 degrees towards the frame. So yeah, oh, yeah? Uh, yeah. I like that. One. See? This is this is it always looks a bit towards the frame. Yeah. But if you put it, let's say over here, if your your thing line is towards upwards. What's going to happen is when you install it, some part of it is going to go on the earth, uh, on oh, the molding. Okay, yeah. In the future, if you ever want to save the glass, or it can even cause a, a bad adhesion, yeah. and therefore it could make water leak in the future. So wait, Garen, can you tell me what are you going to do with the with the? I'm gonna try to save it because there's no point in replacing it because it works if the glue, the gel, stays on the rain sensor, uh, the, the, that, like the machine. Yeah. Because if it doesn't come out clean, I'll just remove it and put a brand new layer on it. But to save uh, the customer uh, money, we always try to just save the, the gel. So we take out the, the metal that holds down the, the machine here. And then I slowly pull down, pull upwards. And yeah, now I'm feeling that it's a bit too uh, too too tight on the glass. Yeah. So I don't think it's gonna come out clean, but sometimes I just give it time. 
I just want to make sure that it comes out nice. But both this one, or if I put my own after, it's gonna be it's gonna work as effectively, and there's yeah. no difference. But it's just that why not? You know, I right, see it didn't come out as nice on the side here, so I can't just add a layer because. The layer it's not like a dry one so it's like liquid mm -hmm. so all of it would just fall overboard okay so i'm gonna have to remove this whole thing that way you can have a nice because some of it is on the glass over here so right. what's gonna happen is that and i can't save that and put it perfectly in like all so this, this never dries well it's not it's not wet but it, it like it moves it's like a jello yeah it's, it's a gel okay it's like a gel really like a gel like you can oh. okay if you move like see how it is Huh. Like a plastic sort of thing like this. So it's not like fully like it doesn't get my fingers wet, but it's not like okay, plastic. Gel, uh, gel. Yeah, okay. exactly. So I'm gonna remove this whole thing. I'm gonna put my own layer onto it. And I'll show you how it is. And do you have the OEM, uh, the, the original sensor? The, uh, BMW does not sell their original rain sensor gel. Okay. Uh, when you buy the thing, the whole thing completely, I think recently they started putting the gel on it and you just plug and play it. Mm -hmm. So, the, but uh, you can't force. Uh, they sell the gel separately yeah. and the machine separately. Okay. BM, I, in my, what I've, what I've learned so far, well, what I know from now, is that they don't sell it separately. Mm -hmm. I might not know it, but generally I cannot order gel by itself. Okay, you have I to have get to, the thing. Yeah. It's like an epoxy, and I'll just put it down here because it has to be sort of on a flat surface. So it's kind of like putting a protective uh, film on... Uh, yeah, I'm going to put on, back the gel perfectly. Yeah. Just like, uh, sort of. Because without the gel, it doesn't read the vibration of the rain, and therefore okay, it won't yeah. read the... If I put this as is, it won't read the rain. Hmm. Okay. So this is practically what I'm doing what the OEM is, except the, my own way. I put the head, this is an epoxy, so what's gonna do when I push it down, it's gonna mix all in between this little white swivel here. Yeah. Uh, so together, and then I put it all around here slowly. I make sure that it's just a bit above the border, that way it sticks to the glass perfectly. And then uh, we, uh, it's gonna read the rain. So. Again, surgeon precision. Mm -hmm. And this way, I, I I see that you're you're making it like that, so you don't have any bubbles, right? Exactly. I just want to make sure it's a bit over the border. You can see like just how it's not even a millimeter over the border. Yeah, this should be good. That's gonna take about five minutes to dry completely. Oh, is it, is it that quick? Yeah. Epoxy generally dries quick. Any kind of epoxy. Let's say uh, there's like aluminum epoxy you can mix together. Right. It takes about, those take about half an hour, an hour. But this one takes like five minutes. So huh. It's probably even already starting to dry on the surface. If I touch it with my finger, it's gonna leave a mark, but it wouldn't stick to my finger. Yeah. Let's so, not leave marks. Exactly. <laughs> This is the closest I've ever gotten to a Lambo. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> this is, you see this part here? Yeah. Automobile Lamborghini. So we did an Aventador SV in oh, yeah? 2014. 20, no, uh, it was not an SV, it was just an Aventador. And it actually comes in a wooden box. And oh, we yeah? decided to, uh, yeah.
that looks? It looks perfect. Fresh. That's how it's supposed to be like original. Yeah. It's excellent. I did try to add the, uh, you know, this this thing. Yeah. But for the love of God, I could not pass the. Uh, yeah, the you're not gonna thing. be able to do it. So it's not but, the end of the world, just for aesthetics. Yeah, exactly. I was like. Hey. Finally, this thing is complete. No more, no more camera dangling. The camera is finally where it is supposed to be. Now I'm quite happy I got that rock on the on the road. There we go. Now it looks like a decent car. All right, so we're back where we started, and we're ready to the windshield and the cameras and everything I want to thank again Garen uh, for allowing me to be in their shop this is something that they don't usually allow for people to be in their area where they do the repair and everything but if you guys have a chance uh, pay a visit to the glass repair shop Jack in Montreal they're amazing if you need a glass change for anything just don't doubt it just go there so, uh, anyway, let's talk about more about the car. So stay tuned for more. I'll come back next video and show you how to code all these options in. And uh, obviously we're gonna code everything at the same time. The MBT Evo, same thing as the speed limit recognition, pedestrian and lane departure. And eventually in other videos, I'm gonna show you how to retrofit thing and I actually finally got it it's just installed there for now but we'll get to that one as well so thank you for seeing this video I hope you liked it enjoy it and please share like and subscribe and uh, see you next time bye